Hi, this is a video about how I was able to upgrade the rear view mirror on my Mini Cooper Countryman. So the mirror that I currently have is an F30 rear view mirror. It's 10 inches bigger in size than the Mini Cooper. And it comes with a garage opener, it comes with a compass and it comes with auto dim feature. So what I had done was the, was the housing around the around the stock of the old mirror. I was able to unclip it using a little plastic smudge, uh, spudger and push it in that and, the, and a gentle twist and the clip came out. And then the two pieces that hold the, the housing, they came apart. And I was able to push the, the old rear view mirror out of its railing. Then what I did is I bought this used rear view mirror on eBay for about $45, $50 and i changed the handle on the old rear view mirror and placed it on the handle of this rear view mirror of the bmw f30 and i was able to slide it back and put a little uh, little uh, little little uh, paper thing in the between so that it does not wobble and it now holds firm and what i done is i also purchased this little stub uh, the connector stub separately from ebay right and made a little harness from out of it the harness is connected to the rain sensor harness that is there on the mini cooper countryman so the basically three wires that may that should make a connection from the uh, from the rear view mirror to the rain uh, to the rain sensor harness so one is a ground and the other one is a signal wire and the third one is the power wire right normally the ground wires are color coded with brown but you always have to check it using a tester right so the pin number three on this little stub here is power the pin number six is signal and the pin number 10 is ground so you have to you have to make a, wire, a small wiring harness out of that stub there and make a connection to the rain sensor harness you could actually connect it to the lights control or any other module too but that's the closest and the and the easiest one to do uh, I tried initially connecting it to the light sensor control module, but it was drawing too much power and making the the headlight go buggy. So I had to disconnect it and control it back and connect it back to the rain sensor module there. Right, and once you make those connections, the, the mirror should work. What I'm now trying to do is I'm trying to get the F30 housing and uh, install it back there because the f60 housing would not be able to accommodate the f30 rear view mirror housing what is interesting also about this mirror is that it also has a tiny little hole here right and you could press it here you what you could do is you could switch on and switch off the compass and if you hold it for a longer period of time i think you should be able to shuffle through the menu where you could choose the zone of the compass and other stuff once you make these connections, what you also need to do is you need to do coding, right? You need to code your mirror for the auto compass to work and stuff. So if you have the ESIS coding or if you have somebody who could do a coding using the ESIS uh, system, that would be the, the, the nice thing to do. But otherwise, you could also try doing it via the BIMA code. I had done a few steps of that coding, but it is not complete, complete. I still have to do a little bit more coding i believe yeah so the mirror looks like that yeah it has a garage opener it has a compass it has an auto dim feature on it all right and and it does not wobble because i put a little paper paper at that at that place where it was wobbling just to make the fit a perfect and nice right you can see it there right So for the mirror to hold on to the railing that is there on the windshield, all it does is it just slides into and locks and it unslides and locks. So it's just a push and pull uh, of the mirror that you have to do one when you have to exchange the F60 mirror for the F30 mirror. Yep. Yeah, hope this helps someone.